I'm Hilary Talbot, acupuncture physician and clinical herbalist, coming to you from acupuncture and herbal therapies. Today we will be discussing tapping techniques to conquer motion sickness. Now most of you know the acclaim point PC6 on the inside of the wrist for stopping motion sickness. And I've told you many times to apply pressure to it to stop uh, the feelings of nausea or even vomiting. But today I'm going to show you how you don't have to apply pressure to this area, but a simple tapping motion. So this point is found in between the tendons on the inside of the wrist, just after the vein crosses on most people, or about one or two thumb breaths down. Once you locate this point, you're just simply going to tap with a light pressure up and down. And what this tapping does is it encourages the chi to come into this point so that the body and its infinite wisdom can stop your motion sickness. Now there are lots of other things that can be done to help chronic motion sickness. Avoiding greasy and dairy, greasy foods and dairy before getting in a car or on a boat are often things that we advise to do in order to stop as motion sickness is usually due to an accumulation of phlegm. And those two types of food tend to make phlegm in most of our bodies. Um, another thing that you can do is to make sure that when you're riding in a car or on a boat is that you look at the horizon rather than the ground itself or engage in an activity like reading which can cause your um, brain to think that there's an imbalance in your equilibrium causing you to get motion sickness. In order to find other points that will be suited to treat your harmony, your pattern of disharmony that's leading to your motion sickness, I encourage you to visit your local acupuncture physician. If you don't already have a qualified practitioner, please visit acufinder.com in order to find one. I'm Hilary Talbot, and that was Tapping to Conquer Motion Sickness.